some of these things have a a native reason or a native Ojibwe or First Nations thing, okay? Yeah, so let's go over it. It's a little bit off. Yeah, this is what it's supposed to be. And I don't know why. Um, you'll see in a second why some of them are different. So when we look at the examples down here, we're following the Ojibwe one, this one. It's a lot easier to follow. So let's just start, because I think that's the easiest way to do this, is just to start and do it. Jumping on in, babe, let's go. Okay. Like, have you ever heard that in a car? Jump on in, babe, let's go. So, so lame, but... I don't know what it's from. <laughs> what movie? Okay, so you need a big paper. To make circle, hold your pen at a 90 degree angle. Large circles, like you're making you're sh making a cake and you're scraping the sides of the bowl. Big circles, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do invisible circles first. And then it might be an egg, but the more circles I do, the more likely I'm to get a circle. So I got a circle now. Cool, circular-ish, good enough. Now, I know halfway through it, I need to make a line. The reason for that, this is a compass. We have like kind of a roadmap to where we are in our self right now if we create this wheel. So we have our north, south, east, west. So I'm gonna put my north here. North. And then down here, south. And you'll probably really see my dyslexia come out for sure now. <laughs> East, because I'm already like flipping them in my brain. I almost made a three. <laughs> so be patient with me, you guys. I love you and I'm doing my best. West, north, south, east, west. All right, so we're gonna lay it out. And once it's on the grid or a compass like this, it's a lot easier to do because we can actually put the things we want in each one of them and images on the outside too. I might actually make the X go outside of the edges. And I did it on small paper before. So let me show you the size that I actually did it on. So don't stress over big, small. It's all good. This is just for demonstration purposes. This is what I did last class and it was fine. So you guys use any size paper you have. It's all good. No pressure to be perfect. All right, so let's start in the North. Or, and actually, somebody had a question about the East, so we'll start in the East. The East is the spiritual section or what fills up our soul, what makes us feel alive and, like, in our bodies, like, just stoked to be here. Happy to be here is what I like to call it, or alert, where we're embodying ourselves fully. So the East section. Um, the East section also, the eagle or the hawk or the owl represent, represent it. So, oop, there goes dyslexia. Yeah, hang on. So let's see, eagle, hawk. So if you want to draw while you're doing this, you can. The hawk, the owl, any type of winged creature goes in this section. If you like any winged creatures, then you might want to draw it in here as a symbol. Especially if you're a spiritual person, maybe even like the doves. If you're religious, your east might be more full. Um, especially like where if you're an atheist, it might be more like nature and hiking stuff. So just be aware that this is the spirit or the soul. I'm trying to write upside down in background backward spirit or soul it's also nature so that's what goes in this section so for me right now I'm working on um, getting out in nature every day hiking I want to hike once a month no no jokes no jokey hikes like a real hike once a month I'm adding hiking onto my east I need to be up above like for me I like to get up, up high where I can look down and it's so clear right now, you guys, it's beautiful. So for me, that experience is just powerful and makes me feel really good. So you know what things do for you, put them in your East, what fills you up. For me, singing, dance, even though that's the most shy I am, those are the things that make me feel like very feminine and like me. So I would put anything that makes you feel like you're in your body, um, and flowing. I'm a tomboy and so like some of those make me feel shy too. So um, let's see. This would be your anything that makes you like your sports that make your soul full. Um, religion. If you're studying any Bible verses or anything like that, it would go in this section. I have a gratitude practice and I do a gratitude journal. So that would go over here. Anything like that. 
Um, we have a new Jewish temple that we're a member of. I need to hit them up and offer to sing in the choir. What else? Um, or to teach the kids, you know, something I, that I can do for free that I can offer the community. So what is it that is in your spiritual section that you want to work on? And that's, that's what I'm doing is my ideas are singing, dance, but ritualizing it. Like truly, we have this weekend tickets to dance with Daybreaker events. So like we're going to dance with a bunch of friends. And it'll be fun. In onesies, by the way. Onesies. <laughs> so silly, fun things that also fill you up. As well as the part of you that ma makes you feel soulful. I'm, with the Native American medicine wheel, there's like really not a lot of judgment in it. So you'll notice that the spiritual section is a little more open. So hope that helps you. Let's keep going on to South. So actually, I'm going to put in here. This is I have a prayer and meditation I would put in here too. But I also do meditation that's non-denominational. And you guys know that it has no religious connotations. So you can do it anyway. Meditation could also go in your emotions to relax you. So you choose. I sing mantras. And that helps me a lot. I also, um, what else? Oh, ecstatic dance parties. That's like the main thing. I love those. Is there anything else? Oh, reading. I read a lot of spiritual texts. All right, so then let's move over to the next section. Now we're in the north, which is our head. It's our thinking mind. So this is thoughts. Normally you work clockwise, but we skipped the top. So let's go into our thoughts. This is like our thinking mind, our brain. This is like schoolwork, career, any of the stuff that you have to like go to school and like focus on and have an accreditation for. And that's this section, North. So I want to read more books. And I like to read about a book every week. And I'm, yeah, I know. I don't know how I do it. Audible. <laughs> yeah. I like to put one in my ear. So I typically like to read a book a week. And um, I read a lot of books for Fiona. So I read her multiple. But I put this in this area, reading. I also need to work on math. Like I could really work on my finances. So for me, I'm going to put my finances here and then I need to focus on some money goals because that's in the thought area, the north. So if you have to work on your flashcards or something like that, that's math. Put math focus. Any schoolwork goes here, except for art. Art would go in another section unless you're forgetting to turn it in. You might want to put reminders on phone, calendars. Calendars are very helpful for me. I can't function without structure, so I have to keep my structure. That's thoughts. That's me using my north section to structure out my crazy. So structure, calendar, reminders, setting alarms and reminders on your phone is actually in your north. If you can do that and add that in, that could really help you to do these things. Like, oh, I'm going to practice my math one time a week. So I'm going to do flashcards for 10 minutes, and I'm going to do it every Sunday at let's say 2 p.m. for till 2.10 or 2.15. Maybe I'll write a song about it. Because, like, you know, if for me, if it isn't movement and dance, I won't remember it. So if you're like that too, maybe you'll like bounce a ball and sing and like remind yourself of your multiplication tables with a ball. That would help me. I know that might help you too. So give that a try. Um, moving. All right, so let's East is spirit. And it's soul and nature, anything that gets you to feel you're in your body, you're feeling your best, and that part of you that's soulful. Um, and the imagery would be like any eagles, hawks, owls, why, like any birds that fly above and kind of look down. There's a lot of power in the east. It's also our, our sorry, our, like Fiona's medicine wheel, it would be all of your um, ancestors and your elders would go in that area. So this is where pictures might go. I'm going to put photos over here of family. I miss my family. So that definitely needs to be on here for East because that's a big part of what fills my soul is family. And actually even eating as a family, gathering, like meals as a family. That is for sure going over there in the East. All right, so North and Thoughts. You can see how they bounce around and they hit each other and you end up moving around the wheel. Now I'm back to North again. Thoughts, brain, structure, oh, reading. But maybe you have like a, I want to be a better communicator. So I'm working on communication and I'm working on email. Like how can I be a better emailer? So I'm actually practicing emails and I found a bunch of things to help with that. Because I just, 
I want to find better ways to say the same thing that's not boring. So I'm practicing email formats that are a little bit more professional, also ones that are more connected, just to see what they feel like and, and get better at that. Other thoughts might come out of as we do the rest. So let's keep going from east into south. So the south section is our emotions. That's our feelings. So we go from thoughts and usually you start at north with thoughts into spirit, into our feelings. So feelings is south. All the big feels. <laughs> this one gets really full. But what are we doing to work with our emotions? For me, I do self-care rituals. So you could write that in or self-care routine depends on how you see it for me i'm fairly spiritual so for me it's it's fairly ingrained in my way of being oh gardening goes over here too you see how that happens gardening is also emotioning emotional for our family it's it makes us feel like connected so self-care routines going outside would go over here in physical because west is physical this is our bodies so outside and play and moving and yoga, play. Um, today we went outside and we picked up all, made sure I had all this stuff for the lesson. And we also like made all this food, you guys. Like I made my carrot beet apple ginger juice and made myself a healthy meal with blueberries, tangerines and sunflower seeds. Like I'm trying to be very healthy and then my man made me this green smoothie and it's with spinach from his own garden. So I'm so happy. And then he made me cacao too. And I made a turmeric smoothie. So if you look over here, like I'm stocked in the food section. So your food, like I believe you are what you eat. And I've also been through some health crises and disasters physically myself. I used to be a sugar addict. So <laughs> I did a lot of damage to my body with bad food. So for me now, my kids eat normal, like they eat sugar, we eat white foods, like I'm not saying not to. I don't eat that stuff till after five and I give myself a window now. I only get 20 minutes to eat junk food, get as many cookies in. <laughs> so food, eat healthy for me, which means prep. And I don't like prep, you guys know that, nobody likes to prep, that's a lot of work. So that goes into thoughts, I have to actually remind myself and calendar it and prep. So food prep. And that's on Sundays. So Sunday is when we set aside time because our Sabbath is on Saturday. So Sunday is our day that we do our food prep. And so every family is different. You can see how this is going to look different for everyone. Self-care. South is my emotions. Mm. You know, I always am working on reactivity and anger usually because I get my feelings hurt. I'm sensitive. So if I get my feelings hurt, I get like, whoa, and that gets the big, strong feeling. So sometimes I have to take a step back and what I call is pause, exhale, then act. So I, I like to act on the exhale. I used to do a lot of screaming <laughs> and it wasn't working for me. So I pause and don't feel bad. Like greet yourself where you are. Like if you yell, that's okay. Like we're all human. We all have emotions for a reason. I'm personally working on that. That's my goal. You choose what you want to work on. I'm paying attention to my triggers. I'm creating better boundaries. So boundaries are when you tell somebody what you need from them. I'm working on reactivity. So what I do is my self-care rituals, breath work and meditation. Breath work is what works for me. No joke, like just doing that weird fire breath, like that does it. <laughs> I would say it's a mix, but if I do the breath work when I'm activated or frustrated, I can go and just kind of calm it down. But I have to force myself to do that. Also standing on one foot. Um, here's the thing though, feeling hurt, that feeling is more strong and low vibe to me than feeling like angry. So it's like, I almost would rather just be pissed than be sad. But we're living in times where it's important to like feel what we're feeling, right? You have to process each feeling. So. For me to do that, I have to use meditation where I actually will ask my thought what it what it's trying to say. I talk to my thoughts in meditation and I also use breath work. So those are mine. I would say for my emotions too, mirroring Fiona, being a mom and seeing her emotional reactions and then going, oh, she needs that. It makes me want to take care of myself better. 
So you guys notice that when you're with your younger siblings or just when you notice yourself getting your feelings hurt, like, oh, maybe I want to act this way because it will bring stuff out. So I'm treating others the way I want to be treated with kindness and compassion and like a lot more chill because I used to be a little more like higher expectations, I guess. So now it's like not lowering the expectations, but it's empathy. And not sympathy because it's not that doesn't feel good right <laughs> it never feels good when someone's like yeah yeah me too is good but that's empathy right but sometimes the me too thing can even feel a little bit hard it's like but wait it's not you too can you just listen to me for a second and so how can we get to a point of doing that with each other it's hard and it's hard when we're at home right now during this time so self-care hard i had to bust mine out like i had to full-on put the yoga mat next to my bed roll it out and do some of these things with you to make sure I'm taking care of myself. So that's part of it. Add it into your structure. So that's physical. It's in my day now. It's in my routine. It's in your week too. So that's good. Um, communication also goes into emotions. And literally playing with my daughter, playing with the kids. That's what does it. It's I miss play, but playing is like, what does it? So I think this is a fully flushed medicine wheel. Feel free to make yours all, like you're just adding the words to start. Just write all the stuff in. If it's not in English, do it in Spanish, whatever language you write in best. If it's visuals, mine will end up having pictures. If I sit here long enough, it'll all start drawing an owl. You know what I mean? Like, so let's draw an owl. Why not? I think we should do a cute little owl. I haven't drawn one in so long. A little cartoony owl. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna have time to do a full owl, but there's one, it might go here. The bear is for the north. So if you like bears, you could do a bear in the north. Um, what else? If for the south, I wouldn't put tobacco on your east, even though it, it normally goes there. It depends on how you feel about it. Like I personally, my, my grandpa passed away from lung cancer and I, I don't, I do understand those ceremonially. Like I'll probably put the peace pipe image cause that's pretty. And I don't have a problem with the giant Gandalf peace pipe, but also like I never saw my grandpa smoke like ever. I didn't even know he smoked until like my family told me that's how he passed away I was like really grandpa never smoked around us ever so I think that's really interesting and he did smoke though back in the 60s and 50s so he was a, a big smoker he quit is what I found out I was like oh so for me tobacco even though it's a special like plant and I'm drawing like a pipe now I don't know if I'll put it in my final piece pipe uh, my final medicine wheel my final medicine wheel though what I'll end up doing is taking this ripping this out and then I'll probably start with a circle and pencil and the grid like lay out the actual circle and then do the grid like that will stay there and then from there what I'll do is I'll oh, that's totally off <laughs> that's funny that's okay though so I'll probably lay it out first and then start putting the flowers and all the things on it and then start cutting out words from image for magazines and stuff um I already started printing the pictures. The pictures, Fiona said I could take some from her. So I'm, like, I'm not cutting yours out. This is going in your memory box, but we printed a bunch of pictures so I could cut some. And if you can't do that, don't worry. Like you don't have to do this on paper. You can do it on a digital site. Oh, what about calm? Oh, things to call baths. Like for me, for my self care, um, I take a bath every Sunday night and I do like a whole gua sha facial thingy for myself, like with face mask and everything. I don't paint my nails anymore now that I have kids, but I used to do that when I was younger. That was part of my calm routine. I'd take a bath, put on some chill music and just have a nice time like for me, like take myself on a date kind of. Um, breath work is very calming too and so is yoga if you do it daily. So calming things, soothing things, smells that soothe you, foods that soothe you, but we're not using them 
to like overindulge. It's it's adding things in to round out your day so that you're not like crashing and burning. It's so that it's called compensation. Because if we decompensate, it means like we're letting ourselves just go off the deep end and feel like junk, right? But if we keep compensating by taking naps, oh, there's a thing called, you might like this, it's called yoga nidra. We've done it once, I think. I do that once a day. And I only do 10 minutes or 20 minutes of yoga nidra once a day. But you literally are just laying there and breathing. For me, it's so comforting though, I don't know why. And I ask for permission like so that nobody bothers me. And I do 20 minutes, but it's like a nap. I fall asleep when I do it every time. I wish I didn't. Probably pre-kids, I actually pre-kids, I didn't fall asleep, but I need the rest. So if you need the rest, I would highly suggest put on a yoga nidra on YouTube. Like here, I'll show you where I find them. It's so easy. <laughs> If the vibe is not yours, if you're like, this is not my vibe, you just change it. So I go here, I go to Yoga Nidra. I mean, Insight Timer has them too, but they don't want kids on there. So I would say go to YouTube. 